Hey traders, John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 6th of January to the 10th of January 2020. I want to wish you all a happy new year. As usual, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and crude oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in this coming week and also for the week's head. So I hope you're having a nice weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, starting off with the US dollar index. Now, the US dollar index is currently structured to the downside. We are overall making lower lows and lower highs. And we're looking for a continuation of this trend to the downside going into next week as the higher probability move in the dollar index. So any pullback, and you can see we've already started to pull back towards the 97.36 area. Any pullback we're going to treat as an opportunity to start to look for short positions in the dollar. So that would be US dollar yen to the downside, for example, euro dollar to the upside, for example. And we're going to be primarily focused on dollar weakness going into next week. If we can get a pullback in the dollar index, preferably if we can come back and retest the 97.36, this is going to be a great place next week to start to look for a rollover in the dollar index to the downside. And we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support in the dollar index and the 95.98. So as a result, we go into next week with a bearish bias on the US dollar. So the next market we're going to look at is crude oil. Now crude oil spiked to the upside last week on ongoing tensions between the US and Iran. We are structured to the upside, we are making higher highs, we're trending to the upside in crude oil. So very simply put, any pullback in this area is going to give us an opportunity to start to look for those bullish formations and patterns. And if we can get a pullback, preferably as always to broken resistance, turning support the 61.58. This is going to be a great place going into next week to start to look for those bullish setups. And if we get the right kind of bullish setups in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside of the target set, the 64.91. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards target two and the next key area resistance to the upside at the 65.88. So next market we're going to look at is euro dollar. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past, looking to turn support at the 1.11150. We are structured to the upside in this market. So any pullback, and you can see we've already started to pull back, any pullback is going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for those bullish setups. If we can come back and preferably as always, if we can retest broken resistance turning support, this would be the best place going into next week to start to look for those bullish setups. And if we get the right kind of bullish setups in this market, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in the target set, the 1.1249. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in target two, at the 1.1342. The next market we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance from the past. Looking to turn support once again, it has already turned support back here at the 1.2986. So very simply put, going into next week, we're going to be looking for bullish setups in this market. If we can come back and retest broken resistance turning support once again, this would be a great place going into next week to start to look for those bullish setups. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance, the upside and the target set at the 1.3380. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area resistance, the upside and target two at the 1.3712. The next markets we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now we've had this big sell off to the downside in the US dollar Japanese yen, breaking down below this key area of broken resistance in this case testing a support, testing a support, failing at the 109.32. We are looking further declines in this market next week. And because of this steep sell-off, it may be difficult to come all the way back to the 109.320. So just bear in mind, we may actually start to get a reversal in this market before we come back and retest the 109.32. But either way, any pullback in this market is going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for those bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of supports to the downside in the target set at the 107.24. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of supports to the downside in target two, at the 106.69. So as usual, if we do come back and retest broken support turning resistance to the 109.320, this would be the best place because it would give us the best risk to reward setups down towards these targets. But as with all of these markets, we may not always get these pullbacks 
all the way to these areas. So be prepared to look for these short setups or long setups, depending on the market. Uh, before we get to these levels as well. We do trade these at the levels preferably, but we do also trade these markets when they do not fully pull back as well. So any pullback in this area will give us an opportunity to look for those bearish setups in this market next week. The next market we're going to look at is Aussie dollar. Now we start the week above a key area of broken resistance, looking to turn support at the 0.6907. We are structured to the upside in this market and we have the US dollar index breaking down. So very simply put, any pullback in this area, this sell-off is only going to be viewed by us as an opportunity to start to look for bullish setups. As usual, if we can come back and retest broken resistance turning support, this will be the best place to start to look for those bullish setups next week in this market. And if we get the right kind of bullish setups in this market, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside and target two at 0 0.7084. So next market we're going to look at is New Zealand dollar. Now we start the week with structure to the upside and also breaking above a key area of broken resistance. Now looking to turn support at 0 0.66150. Any pullback in this area, like with the Aussie dollar, is going to be used as an opportunity to look for those long positions. If we can come back a little bit further, and as always, it'd be preferable if we can come back and retest broken resistance turning support, as this will give us a nice base and also it will give us the best risk to reward setups for those long positions. And if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in this market, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside in the target set, the 0 0.6773. So the next market we're going to look at is the US dollar Swiss franc. Now we start the week structured to the downside. We are trending to the downside in this market. So going into next week, we're only focused on looking for short positions and short setups in this market. We started to get a pullback. Any pullback in this area is viewed as an opportunity to look for those short setups. And as always, if we can come back and retest broken support turning resistance, at 0 0.9770. This would be the best place going into next week to start to look for those bearish formations and patterns. And if we get the right kind of bearish setups in this market, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of supports to the downside in the target set, the 0 0.9635. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside in target two at the 0 0.9584. So the next market we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now the US dollar CAD is currently structured to the downside. It is in a downtrend. This black level here, in fact, is a short position that myself and some of our members took at the 1.32597. And this was actually an area we highlighted in previous forecast videos as a break, a pullback, a retest, and an area to start to look for short positions in the US dollar CAD. We see no reason going into next week to book any profits. We actually only want to be really looking at adding to the short position in the US dollar CAD. So very simply put, if we can get a pullback next week and preferably as always, if we can come back and retest broken support, turning resistance, this would be a great place to start to look once again for those bearish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set, the 1.2925. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside and target two the 1.2785. And last but not least, we have gold. Now we start the week trending to the upside. We have actually broken out of a multi-week correction in gold and we are trending to the upside. So very simply put, we've now broken through a key area of resistance, the 1515.51. If we can get a pullback, any pullback in this area is going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for bullish setups. And if we can come back, if we can get a pullback, and preferably as always, if we can get a pullback to the broken resistance turning support at 1515.51, this is going to be a fantastic place to start to look for bullish setups. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance, the upside of the target set at 1589.98. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to everyone who does that on a regular basis. And a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel so far. I want to wish you all a nice weekend. I want to wish you all a profitable week next week. And I want to wish you all a fantastic year. The only thing left for me to say, guys, is take care and don't forget to trade safely.